morning everyone well I'm taking the dogs a walk it's a bit wet and damp and a bit drizzly and I thought I would uh, kind of do a catch-up video since I've not done any videos for a bit uh, not really only the one uh, the other day on uh, my new camera thought I'd explain a few things so as you all know the summer heat absolutely destroyed me uh, I'm no good in the heat and it was really hot and uh, I never go abroad or if I do go abroad I always sit in the shade so towards the end of the summer into September even though it didn't get much cooler in September um, I wasn't feeling very great and then I started with a few viruses and different things I had a couple of uh, sessions of uh, really not being well so uh, I um, I've not done any videos and then October I think I put a couple of uh, um, videos of my holiday up and um, I started running again which was a big shock to discover how unfit I'd got over the summer uh, just checking on dogs it's not easy when you're trying to video when you've got five dogs when you've got to keep an eye on them all so um, yes right so um, I did a couple of videos on the beach um, with the dogs and me running and then since then uh, I've been trying to get my knee fixed and get fit so I haven't videoed much because I didn't really want to um, video myself in terrible pain trying to get myself fit trying to get my knee fixed um, I know perhaps a few people might have liked to see me suffering so uh, now I'm back to feeling myself I thought I would spend my Christmas money on uh, well Christmas and birthday money from my parents on um, a new camera sorry about this keep uh, pausing but I have to watch my feet it's uh, not very uh, and I have to watch some dogs as well it's not very easy when uh, you walk around here if you don't watch your feet because there's too many roots so new camera I have got the GoPro Fusion and I'll put a few photographs up of what it looks like um, the only disadvantage with this new camera is the monopod is so heavy um, I don't think actually I have got to hold, have to hold it right up in front of my face um, but I, I think I can hold it in different positions but I'm just a bit worried about I'm not getting the right um, right shot which in theory I shouldn't have to worry about it. the only thing is the Fusion's a bit too heavy to run with it on my head and the Fusion, I haven't mentioned, has two cameras one at the front and one at the back which means that I can get more views from one set of filming so you can, uh, in the editing, kind of zoom in onto bits and um, pan round to get to uh, different shots um, so this is why it's not it shouldn't be a problem um, where you hold the camera because it videos everything but um, I've not quite got to grips with it yet but if I do have any more money I might treat myself to the GoPro 7 so I can wear it on my head uh, for when I'm running so you've got um, another view because when you're running fast you just can't be holding a camera in your hand 
where you can take off with the dogs. You can be on rough terrain and um, coping with passing other teams of dogs, uh, watching your own dogs, you've got your hands free uh, for balance and everything else if the camera is on your head. I mean, like, it's not going to be a problem. It'll, it'll go on the top of a helmet, this fusion, um, or it will go on top of on the handlebars where we could never put the fours on the handlebars because there's too much vibration. But apparently, the fusion works quite well on um, the handlebars of a bike. So we're going to give that a try. Um, and I don't know whether I've been looking into this camera all this time or whether I've been looking into the distance or what I've been doing. So if I'm not looking directly at the camera uh, for some of these shots, I'm uh, sorry, it's uh, just learning curve at the minute. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, little uh, update on my new camera and uh, what I'm going to be doing in the future.